upon a time, there lived a wise professor of God Israel. He was well known for his knowledge and has received a lot of awards of excellence across the globe. On one fateful day, he was set to go on a journey with he and his family. As well on their way, the boat that had one of the tires had loosened, causing the back tire to be moved by the car was in motion. Miraculously, the car stopped by itself and no injury was sustained by the family. Professor Israel came down and entered the bush looking for the lost car tire. And he was able to find the tire from the bush. But there was no boat to fix the tire back to its position again. The professor was there and the wife called for help. Unfortunately, there was no one to help because this was in the bush and there was no house around. After being stranded for some minutes, a madman was passing by and said, Foolish people, they claim to be wise and they cannot find simple solution to their problem. The wife of the professor was scared as she was trying to avoid the madman. The madman asked, Is the car not with three tires still intact? And each tire has five foot. Why can't you people remove one boost from each tire and use it to fix the removed tire? And each of the tires will be left with four boots. It was now the eyes of the professor's wife opened and she called her husband, please call more. We have an advice from a madman. The professor ran towards the car because he had gone to the bush looking for the lost boat. The wife repeated herself, we've got an idea from a madman. It was now the wise professor realized they had been foolish all this while when he thought he was wise. Please, before you continue, kindly support us by clicking on the subscribe button and liking this video. God bless you. 1 Corinthians 3.19 KJV For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, it taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Isn't it obvious that God uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise? Who could ever imagine getting a piece of advice that would be useful from a madman? Not to talk of your old professor. The story of Professor Israel is a shred of strong evidence that nobody is useless in this world. We the neglected and rejected people of this world are actually the ones that will be used in testing the wisdom of the wise. Now, Christians are the most mocked, neglected, and rejected people on the planet. Once you mention the name of Jesus, people will instantly begin to develop hatred towards you. Many people have been denied of their righteousness because they mentioned the name of Jesus. The world no longer wants Jesus' name to be mentioned. But can the Christians be really silenced? This is impossible. I know for sure that there are people who are ready to defend the faith even to the point of death. Just like the apostles stood for Jesus till the point of death. In a world where nobody cares about Jesus. In a world where Christians are seen as foolish people. Jesus is willing that you stand for him and defend the faith at all costs. And if you have not encountered Jesus, today he stands at the door of your heart knocking. Will you open for him? Revelation 3 20 KJV Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and I will sup with him and he with me. This thinking corrupt world will soon come to an end. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart, give him a chance to die and save your soul from the world that is coming upon the inhabitants of the heart. I don't mean to scare you, but this world and its beauty will come to an end one day, a day of reckoning, when everyone is going to stand at the righteous throne of judgment. That day, there will be no lawyer to stand for you, only your work with God and your work on earth will be your lawyer. And they are going to stand for you or stand against you. They are going to protect you or put you in danger of hell. This is why you must give your life to the Lord Jesus while you are alive. Because tomorrow may be too late. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when we drop new video. God bless you.